Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth, uh, blessings and safety to the elect. All right. And, um, you know, here goes another, you know, judgment, you know, carried out by the way of a dog, man. All right. And for those who've been tuned in for the past few weeks, you know, I've been dealing, I've been doing lessons dealing with, you know, how the Lord is, is just using these dogs, man, to pretty much carry out judgment, man. And, you know, here goes another one. Okay. It says a baby girl mauled to death by families pet dog all right and that's the spirit because uh a lesson i did a few weeks ago you know i titled it uh soon uh you will have to uh, beware of your own dog man all right now let's 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 go into this word beware all right let's go into this word beware all right it says um be cautious or alert to the danger of man okay and when people put those uh you know different signs on their on on their property, okay. Uh, beware of the dog. All right, they want you to be, they want you to be uh, alert and uh, cautious to the danger of this, you know, pet that they have within their uh, premises, man. Okay, but soon they are gonna have to uh, be alert to the danger of their own dog, man. Okay, not knowing that the Lord can pretty much, you know, cut the light switch on at any time, and that and that same dog that they raised up from a pup, man. Will turn on them, okay. Matter of fact, let me just open up with that Jeremiah real quick. It's Jeremiah 15 and 3, and um, it says, I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear. All right, now when you go into the blue letter, um, when you go into the blue letter of that word tear, um, uh, I believe it's to drag, okay. Uh, let me see. Shalaki, I got some of my eye. This it's been in my eye since this morning. All right, and it's you know fucking with me. Excuse my language. Uh, and it says the dogs to tear. All right, when you go into that word tear, it means uh, to drag. Right, but let me uh, just look up another definition of that word uh, tear uh, real quick. It says. Uh, to pull, okay, in another word, to pull is to drag, all right? It says, uh, I can't really see. It says to pull or rip something apart or into pieces with force, okay? And that's exactly what these dogs have been doing, man, okay? Now, all right, and just to, you know, finish the scripture out, it says to, uh, the dogs to tear and the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy so the Lord, he's, he's, you know, setting up judgment, okay, for you Jakes out there, man, all right, Jacob's trouble, all right, these different plagues and, and judgments that the Lord has awaiting, okay, for you, for you niggas, man, okay, you know, these things are going to intensify, and you never know, you know, what category you're going to fall up under, man, that's why it's important to repent, okay, and, you know, you ask the Lord for forgiveness, man, all right, and, and you get on board, man. All right, it's also important for you to be acquainted with your power, okay? To know the things that he, you know, he's against, the things that he's, you know, for, okay? But it says, baby girl mauled to death by family's pet dog. All right, it says, a baby girl was mauled to death by her family's uh, pet dog. Police have confirmed the seven-month-old died after being bitten on the head at a proper property in Coverty. All right, and that's another thing, man. You know, people, they don't want to accept that the Lord did something like this, man. God would never, ever do that. You know, that's the first thing a person say. Why would the Lord do that? Well, that's why it's important to know your power and to understand why would he do that? He would do that. You know, the Lord doesn't have respect of persons, man. Okay. And the Lord required, matter of fact, man, oh, this lesson can go so many ways, man. <laughs> so we're going to harp on this uh, seven-month-year-old child, man, that was, uh, you know, put to death, man, okay? It says she was rushed to the hospital 
by Amalams from uh, the scene in Shorncliffe Road on Sunday, but died a short time later. Police said the dog was not classed as a dangerous breed. Okay, so here it is. This dog wasn't even classed as a, you know, a dangerous breed, but the Lord still used that dog to carry out judgment. You know, and um, and it says this, man. I will appoint over them for kind, saith the Lord. So the Lord appointed these this type of judgment, all right, over the people, man, over Israel, man, right? Matter of fact, man, let's go to Proverbs, the 28th chapter. This Proverbs 28 and 5, it says, Evil man understandeth not judgment, but they that seeketh the Lord understandeth all things, man. So it says, Evil man understandeth not judgment, but they who seek the Lord understand all things, man. So we understand how judgment works. Now, the scriptures say that uh, after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again, man. So that seven-month-year-old child had a past life, okay? And a part of that child's judgment was to be mauled by a dog, all right, her family dog, when she was seven months, okay? When she was in the spiritual realm. Before the Lord, and the Lord said that would be her judgment, okay? And after three to four generations, she came back down, okay? And that judgment was carried out, man. Okay, matter of fact, let's go to Ecclesiastics, the third chapter. Ecclesiastics 3 and um, 15, it says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and Yahweh requireth which is past. So the Lord, he, he requires the past, man. He doesn't just let it go because it's the past. That's why the scripture tell you to pray for your former sins, which means you pay, you pray for your sins that you committed, you know, in your past life. Of course, that child, you know, couldn't pray for, you know, her sins in her past life, but that was the judgment that the Lord had for that child, man. All right, for her to be mauled, man, okay? But it says, uh, verse 16, moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. And what's under the sun, man? The earth. Okay? <laughs> this is where, you know, judgment gets played out. Okay? All right? This is why you see, you know, you know, wild beasts attacking people. This is why you see, you know, car accidents where people lose their life, man. You know, you, you see people getting their head blew off. You get seeing people get shot up. You're seeing people have, having, you know, incidents at work where they lose a leg or, you know, lose an arm, man. Or, you know, a damn shark attack. Just different things that the Lord have set up for people, man. It's called judgment. You know, and sometimes they're, 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 they're fatal and then sometimes they're not. Okay? Matter of fact. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 39, it says, see now that I, even I am he and there's no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. So the Lord, he, 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 he kills people, man. He, he, he wounds people. Okay. He puts people to death. Okay. And he brings people to life. Okay. Hey, if, 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 if you, if a man deals with a woman and, he puts he puts his seed into her and she gets pregnant, man. Okay, then guess what, man? That's a spirit that the Lord is sending back from the spiritual world, man. Okay, for those who can receive it, man. Okay, so hey, man. You know, this is this is judgment, man. This is judgment from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and I'm gonna close in that book in the book of Zephaniah, man, the third chapter. All right, verse five. And it reads, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity, man. Okay? You know, just because that child was, you know, seven months, year, years old, man, it, does that make the Lord wrong for carrying out judgment? No. The Lord was righteous in that. Okay? The Lord doesn't commit sin, man. The Lord doesn't, you cannot charge the Lord for, 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 for breaking his own laws, man, or going against his own laws, man. He's a real, he's a true king, man. That, that, hey, he goes by his word, man. Okay, he's not like Esau, man, you know. But he'll create a law, and then he changes the law, or, you know, you'll find him guilty of breaking his own laws, and 
you know, hey, like today, you know, Esau, he has laws against certain things, but he does those things on a, on a, on a whole nother level, man. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll create a law dealing with, you know, you know, drug trafficking, but he's the biggest drug trafficker in the world. Or, you know, uh, he'll have some, you know, hey, <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm going with this, man. <laughs> you know, the Lord doesn't, you know, break his own laws, man. But it said he would not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light and he fell of not, but the unjust know of no shame. Now, the fact that you know that it's the Lord that's bringing these judgments, are you going to repent? Okay. Are you going to feel guilty for your actions and the things that you have done and make it right with the Lord? No, man. Jake is going to continue to uh, live in wickedness, man, and until that great day of judgment, which is approaching, okay? So, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Till next time, Shalom.